This video is an overview of the Technological Education Multi-Session Program at Queen's University. Graduates of the Technological Education Multi-Session Program, which we call TEMS for short, are able to apply for certification to teach intermediate senior technological education. Graduates of the program who already hold a bachelor's degree or a red seal receive a bachelor's of education, while those without it receive a diploma of education. If you are already teaching in the school, the program allows you to continue doing so while also participating in the program with the chance to learn and earn through the multi-session transitional certificate. Applicants must have either five plus years of work experience in a broad-based technology area or two plus years of work experience, as well as a post-secondary education program in broad-based technology, or a combination of the two. For this case, 1,700 hours represents one year of work experience. Check out our website for more details on these admission requirements. Our broad-based technology areas include communications technology, construction technology, computer technology, green industries, hairstyling and aesthetics, healthcare, hospitality and tourism, manufacturing technology, technological design and transportation technology. Please review our website for more detailed information around broad-based technologies. Here is a brief idea of what the program looks like. Most of the classes happen in weekend class blocks, Friday to Sunday inclusive, that are comprised of intensive courses. For the past few years, they've taken place at a hotel in Markham, with courses happening Friday afternoon and evening, Saturday and Sunday. The two July sessions of the program happen on campus at the Faculty of Education, with classes taking place throughout the month in person. Working and learning, your options for the program. Option one, you can choose to learn and earn through the multi-session transitional certification, which allows you to continue working in the classroom if you already are, and can provide an opportunity to find employment as you settle into the program. Or maybe you're not ready to leave your industry job, but you would like another pathway to complete your bachelor of, or diploma of education? No problem. With the flexibility of the TEMS program schedule, you will have the opportunity to work towards your goal of becoming a teacher with less disruption and time away from your home base as you wrap up your career in the industry. The third option is to consider our full-time on-campus program, which will get you into the workforce in 16 months, but won't allow you much time to continue to work. We are going to go over option one, how to learn and earn with a transitional certification. This option works for people who may already be teaching technological education inside schools or for those who would like to transition to working inside a school while they complete the program. The multi-session transitional certification allow, lets you complete your practicums through working inside of a school. Not only does it allow you to work while attending the program, but it also allows school boards a way to address the need for qualified teachers of technological education. Step one, the first practicum of the program will help you to qualify for the MSTR. If you are already working in a school, the practicum will be completed by online module so you can continue to work. Step two, in addition to finishing the first practicum, candidates also need to complete the first term of classes in order to qualify for the multi-session transitional certification. Step three, apply for the multi-session transitional certification through the OCT. Once you receive your transitional certification, you may be able to use your workplace as your practicum experience, which means you can learn and earn. To qualify for the multi-session transitional certification program, qualifying teaching positions must, number one, occur in a technological education classroom. Number two, involve teaching a group of students for an extended period of time, four weeks or more. Number three, utilize the Ontario curriculum. Number four, involve all aspects of instruction in the teaching role like professionalism, supporting a community of learners, planning and pre preparing, assessment and evaluation, etc. And number five, it must be supervised by a senior administrator who is a member of the OCT in good standing and who completes a formative and summative assessment each term. We also have students who stay in their industry jobs while completing the program, which is option two. If you'd like to do this, it's important to take a look at how our class blocks work to make sure you could manage it with your working schedule. In particular, both Julys of the program feature a three week long session at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. There are also practicum placements that take place throughout the program and students in our program are required to be in the classroom for the full day. You can find a more detailed calendar on our website.
Ready to apply? You apply for our program or programs on the OAC TEAS website. We have a specific portal for teaching applications called TEAS, which you can find under the Professional Programs heading. Your OAC TEAS application is due on December 1. After you finish your OAC application, you will receive a link to complete your personal statement of experience, which is due on December 10th. On December 10th, your supplemental documents will also be due. For the TEMS program, there are many due that help to demonstrate your experience in the field. Please see the information on the website for more information about this. Here are the key dates and deadlines for admissions processes. Please note that all deadlines are firm because the program begins in May. We can't wait to welcome you to the Faculty of Education at Queen's University. Please contact us with any questions you have.